Well, hello, my friends, and welcome again to the complete Kotlin course. We have learned about functions, the returning type of functions, and how to make parameterized functions. And also, we have learned about overloading. Now, we are going to work with functions as variable. This may come as a surprise, but functions in Kotlin are simply another data type. You can assign them to variables and constants just as you can any other type of value such as an int or a string. To see how it works, consider a function called add. So func add, it took x as an integer for the first parameter and y as the second parameter of type integer okay and it will return here it will return here an integer okay it will return x plus y okay it's very simple the returning type is an integer, yes, because y plus y int plus int will result in int. So the returning type complies and exactly matches the declared and uh, integer in the returning type of the function creation. Okay. This function takes two parameters and return the sum of their value. You can assign this function First of all, before we assign, if we need to call this method, add four and five, okay? So it will add it then, okay? But we can assign this function to a variable using the method reference operator. Let me write it down, method reference. operator it is denoted by two points two points and two points four points you can make it look like so okay now how to use this here we can make a var variable and i call function i could name it as function and I assign it equal to two dot add function. Okay. Here the name of the variable is function. And its type is inferred as int int. You see, guys, this is the this is the function, the variable, and is inferred that its returning type is inferred as int int because this function add has two parameters from f and int 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 will return an int. So the returning type of this function would be an int. Okay. From the add function you assign it, the function variable is of a function type that takes two parameters and return an int, okay? We have assigned, we are telling that this variable called function is of type function, okay? Let me rename it as V or uh, T, T. So the variable t now is a function type that takes two parameter of type integer and return an int. It may be sometimes be confusing for you and especially if you have an experience in Java or any, any other programming languages. But please concentrate with me. I have created a function containing uh, two returning types, uh, sorry, returning type of integer and two parameters. This would be stored inside a variable and it is transforming, not storing, it is transforming 
the function into a variable. Now I have created a function, a, a variable t of type function add. Okay, so this is the method reference operator. Two dots, two dots. Okay, and I am referring it now t is a variable con that takes two parameters. You see, guys, we need to pass x and y, five and five. Okay, this is how we can call this variable. Now you can use the function variable in just as the same way you had used the add function. Okay, now to print it, I need to just print T. Let's run and see. Oops, print T. Let's returning type and uh, one result. Okay, I will remove this. And T now is the returning type of the function. If we have seen that function add Kotlin int and Kotlin int, and it return an int. I need the fact that you can assign functions to variables come in handy because it means that you can pass function to another function. How to do that? This will make some, confu some confu uh, confusion to you, but it is very simple, okay? I will create a method called here function print result and I pass t, the variable that we have created of int and int and we need to make this as an integer to be passed an integer as a returning type and uh, we have a as integer and b as an integer so so we have past three perimeters, one, two, and three. Okay, what does this function me, uh, makes? It will store inside val result equal to t of a and b. Okay, I am calling this method t, which is a function variable, and I'm passing this variable one and the second variable into inside inside the its perimeters. And then I need to print result. Okay. And the print result would be passed here. I'm I will call it in the main function. So print result. And I pass here the data the I need to create it first, the variable t. So variable t is a function variable. And now print result. And I need to pass the reference. So here I can put add or I can pass t. Okay. N four and two. Let me run and see. And here we go, we have the addition takes place. How, let's make a recap. We have created a function add. I have assigned it to a variable. I have created a function variable that the method reference operator is assigned to it. So this variable now is called t is a function as having two parameters and return an integer. And I have created another function that took this t, this uh, variable, uh, this uh, function variable. The second one, 
the second uh, parameter is an integer and the third parameter also an integer. Now I create a, a val result t a o and b. So this will add make addition of the the second parameter and the third parameter using the function variable called t. So I'm using this variable, this first parameter, and I have passed in the side the first parameter a and b as its parameters. It is uh, like uh, think of uh, think of uh, about it as a, a nested parameters. So function inside a function. So I'm having a variable. Think about it as a function, a normal function having uh, a variable a and variable uh, variable b as parameters. And returning type of it will be an integer because we have defined it here, and we stored it inside the result variable. And we have printed it. We call inside the main function the uh, we have created the var t. This is the method reference operator telling that t will act as add function, and the print result passing the vari uh, function variable, the a and b variables, and took place the addition operation and printing out so it's very simple it may be confusing but we are not going to use this in many many times and uh, many many things uh, or many ways uh, that we can make it directly make a function and call it without using a method reference operator but we should mention it to make it very simple Thank you guys. I hope you uh, I hope you rate us five stars on Udemy and support us in many fields by comments and uh, like.